He must have threw up or something on his fence. Or something, because they put him in a little bag. Y'all. Oh my gosh. The drunk neighbor next door. Oh my goodness. What if it was him? He's walking. I hope he doesn't see me. Y'all. <laughs> Please tell me why this year has just started. And just like. Wednesday so he has to quarantine for about a week before he actually goes back to daycare we're gonna get tested um it's just so crazy because Judah was actually he was coughing and sneezing and stuff but I didn't think anything of it because like we're, we're just like usually home we don't really do much or we don't be around people like that and the only people that he was around was like his grandparents and stuff but I think he was kind of sick then when they took him. But, y'all, this is a big mess. A big mess. And it's just so crazy because this time last year, it was either January or February, the same thing happened. Like, everybody in my household got COVID. So it's just like it's happening all over again. This time, Judah is bringing it home from daycare because a worker didn't know she had it or like had symptoms and didn't think much of it until like the last minute and decided to get tested, which put all the kids that she was like around at risk and stuff. But y'all, I got an email this morning. The first email, it had like all the list of the students' names or the children's name. Um, that was at the daycare center who was in contact with the lady and the lady she not the lady who has COVID but the one of the directors she accidentally sent it to me whenever she was trying to send it to DHEC so DHEC could email us about the kids needing to quarantine and all that stuff so she accidentally sent it to me and I was like what is this and then I ended up calling the daycare and she was like, yeah, I didn't mean to send that to you. But yeah, um, Judah's going to have to quarantine and all the other kids that were around the lady, they're going to have to quarantine too. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. And then about an hour later, hour or two later, I ended up getting an email from DHEC saying that Judah can't return to um, daycare until next week, which is next Monday. But if he's having symptoms, he needs to get tested, which Judah is having symptoms because he's been coughing, he's been sneezing. Um, like I said, I really didn't think much of it until I like sat down and like was like really thinking like, has Judah been showing symptoms? He's been very energetic, like playing and being the normal Juju, you know? But he has been having symptoms and he does need to get tested. Me, Judah, and my brother, we need to get tested, and we also need a quarantine, and we need to start wearing our masks, because, honestly, I thought the workers are supposed to get tested, like, every so often, and, like, before even going into the facility, like, I just thought, like, they were doing stuff to prevent, like, the children from getting it, like, the worker, I don't, 
I don't know. It's just a lot, guys. So I'm on the way to get Judah from daycare. She actually called me and she was like, yeah, Judah's sick. You got to come get him. And I'm just like, okay, I'm on the way. I was at work, but I got to go back and do what I need to do and clock out and stuff like that. But... actually taking my lunch break for both of my jobs right now so it gives me time to actually go get Judah but y'all this is crazy because first it's like oh a tree fell down on a daycare the kids are gonna have to stay out for like a week or so or two weeks maybe until this gets fixed and then they email us saying can come back to daycare two days later the kids can come back to daycare it's okay it's fine um they can come back but we're short workers and blah 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 and then a few hours later oh your your kid is he possibly has covid like now you gotta come get him because he's sick and he needs to quarantine and he needs to get the uh he needs to take the covid test it's just like a lie guys so I'm gonna pick Judah up. Of course, we're gonna quarantine, but we also have to go get some supplies from the store that we're gonna need in my room because that's where we're gonna be. I don't think we can like be in contact with my brother anymore. I do like, honestly, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I do feel a little, <clears throat> my throat feels a little itchy. It's like sore and stuff too. And I feel like it's going in and out. But maybe it's just my ears, like the pressure in my ears or something that make that's making it sound like that or feel like there's something like that. I don't know. And then my ears are really itchy. Throat itchy. Kind of sore a little bit. But then I was thinking it was because of the weather, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's because, you know, this whole situation right here. But we're going to figure it out, guys. Everything's going to be fine. I already know it's going to be fine. Like I said, accidents, mistakes happen. Maybe she didn't know that she was getting sick or didn't know she needed to be tested. Maybe thought it was just a little slight cold, but it ended up being something more than what it actually was. So it's okay. Like, I'm forgiving and everything. Like, I'm not, like, upset or anything about the situation, but I just feel like they can do better when it comes to, like, protecting the kids from like getting certain stuff like are they are they wearing masks masks as they take care of the kids but i don't know y'all i just i don't know i really don't know but like i said i'm gonna go pick judah up i'm not gonna stress too much about this situation I had to reach out to everybody that Judah was in contact with. The only people that he's really been in contact with was um, his grandparents. Um, like I said, me and Judah, we don't we don't go out much. We just usually stay inside. We're like homebodies. So who else? I think I did everything that I needed to do. I reached out to everybody that we're in contact with. So I think we're good over here on this end. If I think of anybody else, I'll reach out to them too. But guys, just pray for us and yeah, just pray for us, guys. I'm gonna get Judah. I'm gonna let y'all talk to him for a little bit. As y'all can see, my mood is like way down here because like all of this is so unexpected. I'm just happy that Judah is okay. I'm happy that it's not as bad, you know, because it could be, it could be worse. It could have been worse. Like, I'm just happy that he's okay. Populated Walmart, and we're going to get 
needed like all of the supplies that we need to uh prevent us from having to go in and out of the room just in case my brother like you know hasn't had like too much contact with you so that he doesn't you know get what judah has if he does have anything i'm just hoping that whatever is going on with you he just has like uh allergies it's just his allergies for sinuses acting up but guys i've made it to the destination after all of that chatting go get juju guys stay here i'll be right back okay don't leave us <sighs> okay guys we are back so mm, i went inside to get him and they said that he was coughing real bad and he was like spitting up, trying to throw up or something. But he doesn't have a fever. Juju, you okay? <laughs> you okay, Pookie? Huh? You okay? <laughs> Guys, I think he's okay. But we're still going to get him tested just in case. Y'all, and he didn't go to um, daycare with this on. I don't know who clothes this is, but um, these not his. The shirt he did wear, he had on like um, he had on a little a little outfit. He had on an outfit. He must have threw up or something on his fence or something, cause they put him in a little bag, and then. This is the, the sweater that he had on. But I'm so happy that Judah's gonna be home with me. Honestly, this is how it was supposed to be anyway, but they ended up calling us back and telling us to bring him to daycare and I didn't want him to miss daycare. But we're gonna be home together, Ju. You had a good day at daycare? Thanks. He said, thank you. Did you? You had a good day? What did you learn? Hmm? What did you learn? Pookie. <laughs> he is so funny. Judah. What did you learn in daycare? <laughs> oh, oh, oh! What did you learn? You gonna hold a camera? Huh? You vlogging, boo boo? Let me hold it. Uh, are you vlogging? Is that how you vlog? Oh, you touching up wrong thing, boo boo. Don't put it so close. You got to put it right here. Look, you got to say. You got to say, I had a good day at daycare. I had so much fun. And guess what? They sent me home early. Because I was being busy. <laughs> and a little sickly. You going to try to vlog that, Juju? Say, they sent me home early, mama. You can't eat my necklace, Judah. Give me a kiss. Boo boo kiss. Bookie. Bookie. Y'all, he not trying to hear me. Juju. He put his little stains on the camera. But y'all, this is going to end off this part of the vlog. Later, we're going to go um, quarantine shopping for the things that we need, like I told you guys. So, yeah, guys, just keep us in your prayers and yeah just keep us in your prayers um thank you guys for watching this video and make sure you stay tuned for the next video i don't want you guys to miss out on all of the great content that i post and make sure that you like this video to show support and love okay let me put him in his car seat